is the EQ3 equal, CG5 it is, um, equal to EQ3 mount for the Konos uh, 120mm telescope. This is a Konos, uh, Konos Super 120 refractor. Uh, the focal point of this is a uh, 1000 millimeter one meter and uh, F ratio or focal ratio is 8.3 F number and as you can see this is a quite large telescope 5 inch almost and uh, is a refractor you can see the lens I turn on the refractor so you can see it. it's not much And uh, it is on a CG5 mount, which is equal to EQ3, I think, and or a bit thicker than, bigger than EQ3. Quite actually smooth and lovely. The motions are really. It's one of the best uh, mounts I've seen in this range. So easy to adjust and so easy to move the telescope. Look. Every angle you can imagine is has balance. It's so easy to set it up. I'm looking forward to observe with this telescope. Uh, Jupiter and uh, early uh, Saturn, hopefully. And a little, little, a little bit away from the morning times, morning to p.m. times. I'm really impressed by the quality of this mount and these knobs, control knobs are really good, they're chunky, you can hold them in your hand. It's almost like those space uh, balls that uh, existed with the Swift uh, classic Japanese telescope and you can see that. Konos is an Italian company but practically they are equal to a sky watcher, They're, they import the same from the same Chinese factory and uh, yeah good quality uh, i have one kunos and uh, that's really good that one 80 millimeter one really impressive let's see how is this one as you can see i'm now um, looking at a pine tree and you can see the new pine coins are coming. The quality of the image is good, I can say. And the, the mount is so smooth. I've never, probably I've never seen such a smooth operation for a moment.
Yeah, although it is daylight, I have changed the setting of the video so it looks darker than what it actually it is. But where I'm uh, making this video using a uh, Meet uh, LX200 Classic it has a superior optic to anything that I've seen and it has the slow motion controls unlike the LX90 and that makes it uh, possible to actually move the images as you can see I'm removing the micro movements of the telescope if it's possible Yeah, the cuckoo, cuckoo is singing. 